What's going on guys? Uh it's Big Bear 37 back at you with a real quick real quick video right here on uh on Big Bear 77 Fights page. Um the New Year's ending, so I hope you guys are having a great New Year's Eve as we speak. Um 2016 is ending, we're bringing in a new year. So I'm gonna kinda do a few things on this channel or uh video for uh, 2016 it's WWE related that's what we're gonna be talking about but I also want to give a quick uh, update there will be a new segment added it will probably be a weekly segment probably around Fridays I'm not for sure yet it will be uh, something I haven't come up with a official name yet and the name that we're toying with right now is coffee at the bear cave and it will be a morning uh, show where I'm going to have me a cup of coffee and I'm going to discuss a topic that's on mine or someone else may throw a topic out there that involves wrestling or UFC and I will go from there and do that so um, I have my cup of coffee with me and everything but anyways uh, let's get on into this video uh, 2016 ends um, with the WWE uh, I, there, there's some things that I could complain about there's some things I could go okay I liked um, so I mean there's a lot more to complain about, uh, like, let's make Raw better, um, but I'll get into more of that later, um, anyways, let's get on into it, uh, I want to give out a few, uh, few, uh, acclimates or whatever they, you want to call them, um, uh, first off, I want to say the match of the year, <laughs> uh, there was a lot of matches that could have been the match of the year, um, but there were more duds of the year candidates than there were match of the year candidates. But I have to say, my match of the year, um, I knew they could still bring it. I had that feeling, and they brought the show down. They brought the building down. Shane McMahon's return versus The Undertaker. Yeah. They brought the show down. You saw classic Shane versus classic Undertaker. No, nothing gets better than that. Uh, I thought they brought the show down. As a dud of the year, I have to go with no doubt. Uh, oh, I don't know. There was a lot of matches that were really, uh, just, why, 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 um, I have to say, uh, Brock Lesnar and Goldberg, uh, the real quick, they hyped it up so much, and it was a real quick match, uh, I don't care about all the rumors, uh, well, th that was the last second thing that they planned to make it so quick, I don't care about that, uh, you don't hype a match up that much and then have it in that quick, um, that's my honest opinion, uh, champion of the year, and you could go a lot of ways with this, uh, because you got Finn Balor who held the title, uh, for just that tiny little bit. You can go with the women's champions. Um, either, either Becky uh, Lynch. Becoming the first Smackdown women's champion. Or you have the uh, Raw champions of Charlotte and Sasha. Um, I mean you could go with NXT even. Uh, with Asuka. And she's a great champ. She was one of my candidates actually. So, um, But you could even go with uh, Nakamura. Or Samoa Joe. Um, over there holding the title for NXT. But I did it. I went with the New Day. And now, yes, I'm a fan of New Day. And I'm going to try to be less biased in 2017. But New Day broke an all-time record of longest reign. Uh, they kept competing week in and week out. And finding ways to win. New Day. Greatest tag team. Greatest champion of the year. Best champion of the year. Whatever. Um... Now, I want to talk about most shocking moment of the year, uh, and there were some. Um, uh, I mean, you, I thought that ladder match with uh, that had uh, the Lucha Dragons in it um, back in the day. I uh, thought that was pretty shocking, but um, back in the day, listen to me. Um, but my m most wow moment um, is not going to be a good moment. Uh, you know, a lot of people would say, uh, Shane McMahon and Undertaker. That wasn't really a wow moment for me. I knew those two guys could bring it, and they did. Um, my most wow moment was the Brock Lesnar-Goldberg match. Uh, because you hyped it up. You pumped us up. You got us ready. People were ready to watch it. And people left pissed. You gave us a what-the-heck match. Um, it's just what it is. Um, 2016 was okay, uh, I thought the worst storyline of 2016 was the brand split, uh, mainly because, uh, SmackDown was so much better than Raw, I thought Raw sucked throughout the year, 
uh, since the brand split. Um, yeah, SmackDown so much better. Uh, best storyline of the year. <sighs> that one, that one's difficult, honestly. Um, the whole Shane McMahon coming back uh, storyline was pretty good. New Day storyline was pretty good. Um, I don't know. Maybe you know what? I'll, I'll just go with this since I am biased. The reuniting of Shield tease, and it is a tease because you've seen them reunite so many times throughout this thing, but not fully. I thought that was awesome. Uh, so the reuniting of Shield for momentarily, whatever. So now it's time for the part I've been waiting for. Um, there's this thing going around. It's called rest resolutions. You guys have heard of New Year's resolutions. This is resolutions. Uh, it's things that you would love to see in 2017 from the WWE wrestling or in general or whatever. Uh, and I'm going to do a WWE edition basically on this one. Um, being that this is a WWE video. Um, but my buddy John would probably be on here doing one too. I've probably uh, had him chime in. Uh, but I was supposed to go to his house to celebrate the new year. Uh, and hang out with them over there, but plans change and we're here tonight at home. So, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, New Year's, uh, uh, the New Year's resolutions. Um, you know, things I would like to see in 2017, without a doubt. Um, I'm starting to think, you know, I love the brand split when they first happened. And I understand the brand split was good for some of these other uh, wrestlers to get their name out there and uh, compete for titles and things like that. But you're out of storylines. I mean, that's why you have Alexa Bliss. And I think she's beautiful and talented. Don't get me wrong. I just think that uh, she wouldn't be a champion if we didn't have the brand split. Um, that's why you had a former tag team out of uh, Cesaro and Sheamus. Which, again, don't get me wrong. I like that tag team, but that's why you had to do it. Uh, same with uh, Randy Orton and uh, and, Bray, and Bray Wyatt. Like the tag team, I thought it was an awesome storyline, but you that probably would never happen if, except for the brand split. Um, you got title matches that are just the same thing over and over and over again, same storylines, because you really don't have no one to compete. Um, it was great seeing American Alpha win the tag titles, but this is something that probably should be changed. Um, into the new year. Uh, maybe add more talent to the shows. Raw. Make Raw better again. Make Raw great again. And one of the ways may be to cut the brand split. But the other way is, you know, if you're going to keep the brand split, cut it down to two hours. Cut Raw down to two hours because, I mean, on Raw, we're seeing the same matches over and over again. Um, repeats of the matches. And it's sad. Uh, you're seeing longer promos and some of the really bad promos. Um... You know, and, and if you in the brand split, you have an option to put the shield together and maybe the club and, and have a big feud there. Um, and I think the shield would be great together. You've heard how the fans felt about the shield uh, reuniting. Um, make more joint pay-per-views. Uh, I'm hearing Money in the Bank uh, uh, pay-per-view is supposed to be a uh, exclusive to one brand. I'm not for sure which brand. I can't remember what they said. But if that's true, no. Make the Money in the Bank exclusive to both brands. Um, you know, do a, a joint brand, uh, Money in the Bank, where you have a red briefcase up top, and in a different match, you have a blue briefcase up top. Do something like that. Maybe even a women's Money in the Bank match. Uh, I would love to see King of the Ring return. I was mentioned on Grimm's channel, King of the Ring. Um, I would love to see that return, honestly. Uh, there's a lot of things that I would love to see. Uh, better storylines. Sit down with your writers in 2017 and come up with some good storylines. But my number one resolution for you guys, WWE, listen closely. Give us more wow moments, more shocking moments, more I did not see that coming moments. That's what makes wrestling fans love the business. When you give us a moment that, whoa, did not see that coming. Whoa, that was an awesome match. Whoa, that was awesome. So, that's my New Year's resolutions for 2017, WWE edition. Gonna get on out of here. Everything's down in the links as, as usual. 
uh, descriptions, all the links down in the description box, as usual. Oh boy, it's getting New Year's and I'm ready to ring in the New Year and, uh, and, and, and party like it's 2017 because it will be. Catch you all later. Peace. Uh, yeah. See you guys next year.